Y'all, I've got a great casserole hack. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the random web series where we find, test, and sometimes create the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're gonna to be tackling green bean casserole, and that's not even the most exciting part. Stay tuned. All right, guys, low carb green bean casserole. Can it be done? You better believe it, and we've got one sneaky trick up our sleeves. As you know, most of the uh, wonderful family casseroles that we all love, especially around the holidays, tend to revolve around one problem ingredient that really holds it all together, condensed cream of mushroom soup. Uh, while it is delicious and a wonderful time saver, uh, it has a lot of weird ingredients, uh, a lot of fillers, and a lot of things that people on a low carb or keto diet generally don't want to eat. So today, that's the first thing we're tackling is a, cr a condensed cream of mushroom soup that you can take to make this casserole, the green bean casserole, or any of your other favorite casseroles that you may have figured out low carb alternatives to, but you need that one filler ingredients, cream of mushroom soup. So let's get started on that. Now, before we begin, I need to give a huge thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this week's video. Thrive Market is an online marketplace on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everybody. You can shop their entire catalog of thousands of name brand products, and that can be food or supplements, uh, bath and body products, kids products, baby products, home goods, whatever it is that you're looking for, you can sort their catalog by the things that matter most to you. Whether that's non-GMO, uh, vegan, raw, uh, keto, gluten-free, whatever it is, the values that matter most to you, you can sort that catalog and shop by your specifications. Now, like a lot of big box discount stores, there is a membership fee to join Thrive Market, but the nice thing is that most members save about 32 bucks on every single order they place. Now, you can choose a couple of options. They've got a one month membership, so you can try it out and see if it's something that you like. Uh, if you do like me and choose the one year membership, uh, it gets the price down to around five bucks a month. Um, so be sure to check that out. I'm gonna put a link down here on the screen. It's uh, thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb. Be sure to go check that out. If you sign up for a membership, you'll get up to $24 in free gifts on your first membership. And uh, uh, as always, orders over $49 have free shipping. So thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. It's sponsorships like yours that keep channels like mine on the air. And for that, I am so appreciative. So be sure to go check it out down here. It has a happiness guarantee. If uh, you don't make up in savings the price of your membership, they'll actually refund that difference at the end of the year. So be sure to hit up thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb and check out what they have to offer. So thank you so much Thrive Market. All right, let's make some casserole. All right, so low carb green bean casserole. We're gonna start this, as I said, with the main ingredient that, um, I mean, we, we all know green beans and the other things can be low carb. It's that cream of mushroom soup. So let's get started on that. We're gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up this skillet with some butter so that we can start sauteing uh, these mushrooms and these onions. And that's the most flavorful part of this recipe and the most, I guess you could say, important. So we've got half of a white onion, okay? Use a white onion, they tend to have less carbs than sweet onions or Vidalia onions or yellow onions. So half of a white onion, I just kind of roughly chopped it because we're gonna make a full on pulverized uh, mush out of this, right? We don't want any of these large. So this is 12 ounces of white mushrooms. I've used a combination of button mushrooms as well as um, uh, baby um, Bella's cremini's, right? So we're gonna put all this in here. It's just easier to do it by hand. And truthfully, we're just gonna swir this up and get this, pulse it until we come up with a fine um, pulverized mixture of onions and mushrooms. So we're gonna do that now, okay? Okay. So we have pretty well made our paste of onions and mushrooms. And this is uh, three tablespoons of unsalted butter that I've got in a warm pan over about medium heat. And in this goes, just don't drop your blade in there. And be careful, you will cut your leg off of that right there. That's so sharp. So in this goes, and we're just gonna saute this over medium, medium low heat for 
about five to six minutes until this really gets um, fragrant. Most of the water and moisture is cooked out of the, get out of the way, cooked out of the vegetables. And so I will meet you back here and we're just gonna keep this working. Now don't worry too hard, uh, too much about the exact ingredient amounts. It's all, I'll put the written recipe down below in the video description and uh, in the pinned comment below. So if you're looking for exact measurements, don't transcribe all that. Just go down and copy it and paste it and print it out. Okay, so we're gonna cook this down and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so we're gonna start this by adding uh, our liquid into this, back into this. So this is um, a cup and a half of low sodium chicken broth. Oops, don't spill it on the counter like I just did. And this is heavy cream. And again, uh, don't worry too much about exact uh, measurements here. Just look, uh, look in the video description below for the, for the full written recipe. Make sure you use a spatula and get all this goody goody stuff out of here. You don't want to leave anything behind. Turn this up just a little bit so that we can start bringing this to a boil because what we need to do now is simmer this um, with our other ingredients for about eight to ten minutes. Uh, simmer it on low so that this condenses and becomes what we know of as right condensed soup. So we're going to add some spices to this. Um, this is because I'll use low sodium chicken broth. We've got a little half teaspoon each of salt and pepper and about a quarter teaspoon of um, garlic powder. So in that goes. And lastly to this, this is our secret ingredient. And as you can see, this has been pretty easy um, to get this, this delicious uh, soup. This is uh, three ounces of softened cream cheese. So full fat cream cheese. This is going to add a lot of texture and body and create the thick unctuousness that we know of that would come out of a congealed, right, condensed cream of soup, right? That's how we get that. So add in a little bit of cream cheese. And now I'm just going to slowly stir this, let it come to a, to a, a very low boil, lower it down to a simmer and let this just cook for about 10 minutes, okay? So I'll meet you right back here. Meanwhile, I've got a pot of water on the stove um, that is starting to come to a boil so they can put our green beans in. But I'll meet you back here in 10 minutes. All right, guys, so we are back and this is our beautiful um, cream of mushroom soup it took about 11 minutes maybe 12 minutes to get to this consistency so we need to just pour this up because I need to use this pan again so I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm just going to put it in Lord for be with me pour it over the back of your spoon handle so that it doesn't splatter all right so this makes four cups of soup now we may not use all of this uh, we're going to have to eyeball it generally i use about three quarters of this so um, hold on one moment we're going to set this to the side and i'm going to go get my green beans that are on the back of the stove all right so look at these beautiful green beans this is uh, just shy of about two pounds of green beans that have been blanched i blanched them for about seven minutes so i'm just going to let these drain over here to the side for a bit while we work on our other items Okay, so we're almost there. We just now have to um, saute a little bit of onion and mushrooms. And um, I'm just going to do it in this pot that I already had boiled the green beans in since it's already dirty. So let's put this on medium heat. I'm going to use a couple of tablespoons of avocado or coconut oil, whichever you like. Heating up our oil here, in goes uh, the other half of that white onion that we already used in the soup. We're going to add the other half as slices. And this is just going in whole into the casserole and then another 12 ounces of mushrooms so basically this is an eight ounce package of mushrooms i bought three of them one and a half went pulverized into the soup and then the other one and a half are going into the actual casserole itself so get out of the way so we're just going to saute these for about five to seven minutes you want the um, mushrooms to be soft. You want the onions to be translucent. 
So I'm going to do that. And while this is working, I'm going to go ahead and spread my green beans out in my casserole pan. So I'll meet you back here when these are done in about five minutes. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes and our mushrooms and onions now are ready to be added to our casserole. Here are the green beans and I went ahead and sprayed a large casserole pan. You can do this in a nine by 13. I like to do it um, in a 11 by seven, uh, sorry, 11 by 15, I believe this is. It just gives you more room to spread out. This is about two pounds of, of green beans. So this is a fairly large casserole. So, all right, to our green beans, we get to add this delicious mushroom and onion mixture. Yeah, we've got mushrooms and onions in our soup, but this is really just sort of gills the lily. Hold on. So as easy as this is, let's just mix this up with our green beans. Again, I've already sprayed this with a little bit of spray just to make sure it's okay. And then get back in there. Uh, this is optional. I like to add cheese to mine. I always grew up with uh, cheddar cheese in our um, green bean casserole. A lot of people didn't. So if you don't like it, omit it. Okay. Just leave it out. So this is a cup of shredded cheddar. Not much. And now we're going to just sort of eyeball this. This is our soup that we've already reserved. Again, this is about four cups. You may not need all of this. Uh, it keeps well. You can eat it as a, as a meal, but we might wind up using it all. So let's see. Because you don't want this to be too soupy. You do want it to have some structure. So before we put it all in, let's give it a quick mix. Yep, I'm probably going to go ahead and use it all. I think we can get away with it. Like I said, you don't want it too liquidy. So mix this together. And so most everything here is cooked. We just need for this to sort of combine. And then, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this in a 375 degree oven. It's going in for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out and stir it uh, just a little bit, just to make sure it's all uh, combined well and then we're going to add our topping to this so after this has been in at 375 degrees for 15 minutes we're going to add about a half a cup of crushed pork rinds a half a cup of half a cup of shredded parmesan and i buy the pre-shredded parmesan often and about a half a cup of sliced almonds. This gives a nice, beautiful crunch. And you can just sort of do that by eye. Let me get a spoon. Okay, so mix this together, but this isn't going to go on until the last 10 minutes. So I'm going to put this on at the end. This is going in right now for 15 minutes. I'm going to put that on after I stir it, come back here, and then we're going to taste it. So I'll meet you back here in five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, we are back. Um, this big, beautiful guy, as you can see, is out of the oven. It's still a little bit warm. Hoo, 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 hoo. It's been cooling for about maybe 10 minutes now so far. Um, <clears throat> now, as you can see, this made a large portion, um, but let's taste it and see what it's like. And again, don't um, worry about the in uh, ingredients. Look down below in the video description and in the pinned comment below, and you'll see written instructions and ingredient amounts for the recipe. Oh my gosh. Whoo, it is some kind of hot, buddy. I'm gonna tell you now. But you know me, I love burn my face off on this kind of stuff. <clears throat> Guys, look how beautiful that is. That is, that is hot. Okay, I'm gonna try this um, and hope I don't burn literally my lips off. Um, <clears throat> I love the almonds on this because it usually makes it so crunchy. Lord be with me, it's hot. Mm -hmm. mm. Hold on. 
Y'all, that is so wonderful and comforting. There's so much flavor in there. It actually tastes like mushrooms and onions and green beans and the, the you can't taste the, the the breadcrumb quote unquote topping instead of the you know the french fried onions that we've always used <clears throat> the almonds and the parmesan and the pork rinds really give that crunchy top this is fantastic now you don't have to make the entire recipe as you see i use the entire recipe of the soup so that's the most important part of this whole video is that soup is a separate recipe that you can use to work with your own uh, family holiday casseroles or whatever kind of casseroles that you're always needing that cream of mushroom soup. So the recipe will be down there for that as well as for the full green bean casserole. This is made with two pounds of green beans. If you want to cut this in half and do it in a smaller nine by 13 pan and do just a pound of green beans, you'd be able to use about half of that soup and then freeze or put up the rest of it or eat it separately, however you want to do it. So, all right guys, so there you have it. Low carb green bean casserole, it can be done. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. Again, be sure to check out the link in the video description below and in the pinned comment below, you'll see the full written recipe as well as the link to this video's sponsor, Thrive Market. Thank you again for sponsoring this video. Like I said, it's sponsorships like yours that keep channels like mine on the air and I really, really appreciate it. It's been so nice to see in the comment section people speaking about the Give Back program. If you don't know what that is, Thrive Market, for every membership they sell, uh, they also give one away to a family in need, a first responder, a veteran, a teacher, somebody that can really benefit from healthy foods and products and easy access to them. So uh, it's nice to see that live out right here in the highfalutin low carb comment section. There are lots of you below. So thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring me. You guys, if you wanna support me, be sure to use the link down here on the screen and go uh, get your $24 in free products, uh, in free gifts. So thank you again. All right, uh, if you haven't found me on Instagram or on Facebook, I'll leave links to those there here on the screen. Be sure to catch me over there. I'm able to communicate a little more freely that way. Um, otherwise, I want to thank my Patreon members. Uh, they're going to be here on the screen. If you don't know what Patreon is, um, think of it as the tip jar for the internet. It allows people like you who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube. And you give us a dollar or two a month just to sort of keep the train on the tracks, as it were. So thanks to all these guys. These are true rock stars. And without you, I, none of this would be possible. Otherwise, I will see you guys very soon. I've got another video coming up, hopefully right here before Thanksgiving. So be sure to check that out. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.